Welcome to the Ranveer Show, everybody. The goal with this show is to always bring you fresher, deeper, heavier content. Took a risk by creating an episode entirely about sex. This one's a solo podcast. It's an outcome of all the gorgeous conversations I've had with sexologists, with health experts, with Kama Sutra experts, and I hope that you find value in this one. Remember, the Ranveer Show is a Spotify exclusive now, which means that every episode is available on Spotify, forty-eight hours before it's available anywhere else in the world. And without further ado, enjoy this very special solo podcast of the Ranveer Show. This is going to be the most non-sleazy, most straight-up, most real conversation about sex on the Indian internet, especially. but hopefully the world's internet because i feel like a lot of young men especially but even young women don't get the right guidance when it comes to good sex when it comes to the right practices related to sex and that's why we'll be talking about this super openly i also feel that these are conversations that weren't really spoken about that much earlier on and we need to be the generation that normalizes conversations about sex so without wasting any further time let's talk about 10 tips that will absolutely change up your sex life and will absolutely boost your sex life into new levels of niceness basically keep in mind i'm not a doctor i'm not a sexologist i'm a podcaster i've had the luxury of speaking to health experts like luke cutinio kama sutra experts like seema anand and the 10 points i'm going to talk about in this video are kind of a cumulative outcome of those conversations and countless offline conversations i've had about sex with friends my age people younger than me people older than myself men women people from the lgbtqi community but of course sex is subjective these are sort of 10 generalized rules that i hope will help you rule number 1 very basic it's called ccp consent comfort and protection consent do not force yourself on anyone hurts me that we have to even address this as one particular point it should kind of be hardwired in our heads that you don't try forcing yourself on someone physically without their consent if she says no it means no if she says i don't know it means no every young guy should know this that's the golden rule of sex that's the basis do not force yourself on anyone a lot of guys young guys especially get carried away basically because of their own horniness they can't help themselves in that moment and they kind of almost force themselves on their partners if your partner is not giving you their consent you don't take the act forward you control yourself you take a step back consent is the basis of not just good sex but sex in general please ensure this box is ticked before moving forward comfort this is sort of the next level of consent say you're starting to get physical with someone and you just kind of feel a vibe that they're not comfortable with what you all are doing revisit the consent conversation if they're not comfortable with you putting your hand somewhere with you taking it forward from just kissing the person have a conversation with them communicate a little bit with them only through communication will you know if the equation is comfortable and the third one another concept that's not really spoken about enough with the age of online dating with the age of dating apps with the age of hooking up the truth is that stds are extremely rampant i've had conversations with gynecologists about this and they've spoken about how stds are a lot more prevalent than they used to be say even 10 15 years back and this data to back this so please use protection use condoms have conversations about hygienic sex Now we move on to point number two. Point number two is where you might consider that it becomes spicy. The second basic rule of good sex after CCP is the intellectual and emotional connect that happens before you get physical with someone. We live in an age where so many people from our generation just believe that sex is about physical closeness, physical intimacy, basically just banging raw bodies against each other. That's not good sex. That's forgettable sex. Good sex first of all happens with someone that you love. Love improves the sex even if all the other eight points that we'll speak about after this 
even if those points are not followed but if you just love the person if love is shared between two souls that improves the quality of sex now if you're not sure if you love the other person yet one level before love what's that called what's that called it's called intellectual and emotional intimacy great sex doesn't begin in the bedroom great sex begins on the dinner table when you're talking to the other person and you're getting to know the depths of the other person's mind first before having sex with that person understand the person that you're going to have sex with understand a little bit more about them ask them deep questions understand the emotional corners of their mind maybe understand the surface level version of their traumas understand them a little bit deeply because that's where great sex begins you'll be making it better for your partner through comfort create that comfort by having very deep conversation first i personally would suggest that if you're dating someone if you're seeing someone you delay sex up till after the point where you've got to know the person and you have a certain sense of an emotional connect with them an intellectual connect with them get to know the person first don't just jump into it point number 3 stretch the foreplay we read about this in all these ask the sex expert columns in newspapers and trust me it's true and again a lot of men are to blame here what i've heard from all my offline conversations is that a lot of dudes kind of just want to move into the act of having sex right they want to move into the act of penetration without understanding that foreplay is what really enhances sex for their partners for a lot of people right once seen a meme which actually described the experience of sex for men versus the experience of sex for women very beautiful so the experience of sex for men is it's kind of low while you're stroking right think of masturbation what happens you work your way up to the point of ejaculation and at the point of ejaculation there's an explosion of feel good hormones and that's what sex is for guys it's all about that one moment of the orgasm a woman's body works differently where it's not about just that one moment it's about the whole act probably before the foreplay begins but especially during the foreplay it's a fundamental difference that you only learn through experience because as men we assume that okay this person's body probably works in the same way that mine does so we think that okay because maybe we will like penetration because it simulates masturbation for ourselves this person will get pleasure if we simulate the kind of masturbation that we know masturbation for women and masturbation for men are two very different things for men it's about working your way up to that one point of explosion but for women it's the whole process it's like a slow build up of a liquid that just oozes out of a glass at some point it's not one single explosion at one point it's the whole process and the more you have a slow build up the better it is in terms of giving your partner pleasure of course this isn't a general rule for all women but this does work to a certain degree you're supposed to focus a lot on foreplay as i said in the previous one you're also supposed to focus a lot on conversation keep your foreplay slow keep it enjoyable explore your partner's body ensure that they feel you're respecting every single part of their body ensure that they feel loved on every single part of their body ensure that love is a factor even if you don't say that you love them ensure that you're exploring your partner's body with love love helps people orgasm just saying again not a general rule some people like it really fast right but to be safe if you do want to play a general game focus a lot on foreplay sometimes up to the point where until the partner tells you okay now go for it you don't go further than foreplay you focus on it you give them pleasure in ways other than penetration next point the next point is a recap of one of our previous points know when to communicate and when to shut up during sex do not spoil the vibe of a particular moment by just saying oh this is great or talking too much or saying move there move here don't spoil moments if moments are building up let them build up so know when to shut up but also know when to communicate there's not a single partner in the world who won't appreciate some form of communication in sex tell them what you like ask them what they like 
ask them to communicate some people just get really shy in bed so you've also got to be conscious of that and still make them feel comfortable say you ask them a question they don't want to talk then just shut up follow their lead make your partner feel comfortable this is a communication skills trick if you ever want to make someone feel comfortable in conversation you mimic their energy levels and body language the same rule applies to bed there's a lot of silent communication skills that take place in the bedroom but the louder version of communication skills verbal communication actually speaking to each other can enhance your sex life significantly so please have open conversation in the bedroom if you want to do something in particular ask the other person tell the other person the more you communicate as partners the better it will get if you want to try something say it what's the worst that can happen they're not going to judge you you're submitting your body to them if they're judging you for speaking up they're probably not your long term partners just keep that in mind point number 5 kisses and exploration learn how to be a good kisser it is a life skill especially in the bedroom especially to enhance your relationship man learn how to be a good kisser the basis of good kissing is once again spotting the other person's energy levels and mimicking them spotting the other person's speed of kissing and mimicking it spotting the other person's energy of kissing and mimicking it be a good kisser even while you're having sex and ensure you don't limit yourself to just the lips kiss them on the neck kiss them on the ears explore the body a little bit when it comes to women they have two sensitive spots for sure right the reproductive organs and the breasts but there's also more sensitive spots on the body and that's for you to find out where is it is it the ears is it the neck is it the back of the neck is it the front is it the chest is it the stomach where is it you need to find it through your kisses and the same rule applies for men as well a lot of men actually believe that they only have one sensitive part which is their penis or their balls but that's not true there is a second a third body part which is subjective for every man you've got to find out for yourself you've got to let your partner explore your body you've got to be comfortable right ccp consent comfort protection this is an exploration will kind of open up your partner's body and that's when we can move on to the next point point number 6 the lesser the porn the better the sex because the sex that's shown in porn is violent it's not natural it's too fast it's too almost sexist man that's not how the real version of sex is real sex is slow and romantic and subjective it's based on the equation that the two people share it's based on the two people's personalities and porn is almost never a good representation of great sex we promote a lot of no fap on this channel uh, trust me as a guy no fap will improve your sex life heavily no fap means no masturbation especially if you're in a relationship practice no fap see it affect your sex life well I know guys in college especially who used to have sex with their partners they would not come during the act of sex they would not orgasm during the act of sex and they would eventually ask their partners to give them a hand job because they were that addicted to masturbation that's not a very good scenario in a relationship right we're enjoying someone's hand more than you're enjoying their reproductive organs and trust me the kind of erections you get when you practice no fap are way stronger than erections when you're constantly jacking off every day when you're watching porn just out of a habit and not watching porn for pleasure porn once in a while is okay porn addiction is terrible i knew guys in college who would have sex and when they wanted to orgasm rather than enjoying the partner's body enjoying how the body was feeling on the penis they would visualize themselves having sex with their partner from a third person perspective as if they leave their body kind of visualize oh this is how i'll be looking with my partner and then ejaculate because they were that addicted to porn and i know that's a lot of you and don't worry it's normal as you grow up you can come out of it just leave your porn frequency leave it behind let go of watching that much porn you'll be okay try practicing no fap it improves your sex life heavily right the reason we're doing this video is like a big brother just giving younger brothers advice And if there's any women watching it till this point, thank you. 
share it with your friends i guess but this is for everybody not just men or women or people of the lgbtq community this is for the human race because i feel like conversations about sex need to be more normalized which brings me to the next point something else that normalized in the modern day is porn that's why the next point is called erotica over porn if you are to watch porn once in a while preferably try watching erotica which is porn for women you'll actually learn as a guy you learn what sex is from a fantasizing perspective for a woman why is the porn for women in the first place watch it and understand for yourself what's the difference between normal porn which is violent where people are screaming where it's like going crazy the speed is intense versus erotica where it's slower where the partners explore each other's bodies where it's more gentle it's more aesthetic the porn looks hygienic learn from erotica you can use some of those tricks in the bedroom because that's a realistic sex if you have to watch porn i'd still say avoid it cuz i think by this point all of us have watched porn at least a few times in our lives right that's just the nature of our times when you kind of move your mind away from porn entirely you start appreciating real sex more why did we even begin watching porn when we were teenagers because of the mystery attached to sex then eventually it became an addiction somewhere but you've watched enough porn you masturbated enough to it now by this point get into the real thing you don't need to keep putting sex on a pedestal it's just a part of life point number 8 perfumes and the environment as a grown man one of the great gifts of being a grown man is that you're earning money so you get to spend on the way you dress and the way you groom yourself on the way you smell if you get into perfumes colognes in a deep way you'll see that it actually affects your mood because it changes your perception of things in the same way that if i change the music now right it makes you look at this video in a certain way how about now it makes you view it in a certain way right perfumes do the same thing for your mind invest in perfumes invest in candles which you can use in your bedroom keep your bedroom hygienic keep the environment nice romantic hygienic use flowers smells are important hygiene is important the vibe is important get into candles it's one of those grown man things i've discovered recently in my life it's incredible i started using them for yoga but i just light a candle in my room all the time now i'm not having sex all the time i'm just really into candles just saying <laughs> but candles are incredible perfumes are incredible you'd be surprised at how beautiful an effect perfumes and candles have on your sex life ensure you spray some cologne on yourself before sex ensure you spray some on your bed it's a slightly alternative trick works like magic it'll make your partner feel like she's a queen or he's a king just ensure you kind of presenting the best possible environment for your partner environments matter point number 9 once again this is one of those points that just overshadows every single other point if you don't follow any of those rules but you just follow this one rule your sex life is going to skyrocket in terms of quality three words which are the most important pieces of sex advice you'll ever get be a giver there's too many people in the world who are takers they go about life taking things from other human beings oh that's mine oh i want to enjoy i get this opportunity oh i want to know that this is for myself and that attitude that selfish attitude makes its way to the bedroom some people just haven't explored their own body sexually they've not masturbated in life they've not spoken about sex to their friends or people in their inner circle the social circle that's why they end up being takers in bed they just lie down in bed they don't know all these things they've not watched videos like this they don't know anything about sex for them sex is just about the orgasm just for being naked with their partners those are the two reasons that people become takers the first is that's just their nature bad sex partners by the way you should convey that to your partner if they're just a taker because it can affect your relationship and your sex life badly in the long term if they're a taker in bed secondly they just get confused and the body kind of gets stiff and frozen up they don't know what to do in bed and communication breaks these boundaries breaks that sense of discomfort 
brings the beautiful wild side of sex into the bedroom communicate if your partner is a taker communicate with them but you yourself if you want to have great sex you be the giver of great sex by being a giver give in bed whether that's oral sex whether that's kisses whether that's love whether that's exploration of the other person's body whether that's hugs from behind whether it's caressing someone whether it's hugging someone so tightly that they can't move whether it's saying those beautiful little loving sentences to them that make them feel better be a giver in bed in your relationship in love being a giver will improve your sex life but ensure it's not a one way relationship the other person has to reciprocate a little bit the best sex is had between two givers so if your partner is a taker communicate a little bit with them say that you want a little more in bed great sex sometimes doesn't happen from the start you develop that equation over time through intense levels of communication which brings me to the last and final point of the special podcast which i hope you enjoyed which i hope you share with your friends which i hope you comment under which i hope you like point number 10 normalize conversations about sex the big reason that people are facing so many problems in their sex life is primarily because we've put sex on this pedestal in modern day society india the land of the kama sutra used to view sex as just a part of life in the same way that marriage is just a part of life or exercise is just a part of life or careers are just a part of life there's nothing in your life that should govern it entirely not in life not in your mind don't put something on a pedestal so much that it takes over your mind and your life and that's what sex is for so many of us right it's a taboo topic for some of us it's a larger than life topic for some of us why can't we just perceive it like it's a part of life why can't we normalize conversation about sex it begins in restaurants in friend groups in conversations with people of the opposite sex where when someone speaks about sex you don't go oh it's a, oh oh you don't do all that shit you just say oh okay this is what you think this is what i think normalize it in the same way you'd normalize a conversation about a tv show normalize it that much and if you want to improve at sex further have more conversations about it with older people with younger people with people your age and witness your life and your perspectives change constantly That was our sex special of the Ranveer show. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you comment down below what other topics would you guys like me to cover in the domains of relationships or love or sex. Do check out all our other solo episodes, all this heartfelt. And if you enjoyed this one, make sure you share it with your friends. We're going to grow to all the shares that you guys give us. Share it on WhatsApp. Share it over the internet and help the TRS family grow further. Thank you guys. So that was the quite hatke quite alternative episode of the Ranveer show for today. I enjoy creating solo podcasts especially when they're in English because English is my thinking language. So I'd love to know what other topics you guys would like to see when it comes to the English solo podcast. Please tell us in the comments section. Remember to follow TRS on Spotify. Every episode's available on Spotify 48 hours before it's available anywhere else in the world. Make sure you like this content piece, make sure you share it with your friends and make sure you drop a comment down below. Namaste. See you soon.